Hey, welcome back. It's your guy, Engineer Mojo. So you have an older car, uh, 95 or older, and you're trying to figure out how in the world do I find out what kind of engine code do I have? Well, this is a tutorial on how to do it. Uh, to start off fast, tools you'll need are, you'll need a paper clip, and eventually you'll need to bend that paper clip in such a way that it looks like this. The important part is that you have two little prongs, one right here, one right there and that'll enable you to stick that right into the diagnostic plug to be able to test this out. Now you can also use a wire, a strip wire to plug in as well. A uh, paper clip is just usually more readily available to folks. Next step you want to take is to locate your diagnostic plug. You want to look underneath your passenger side glove box and you probably have to pull back the cover of the carpet You'll see two blue plugs. Look for the one that has only two inlets. And that's your diagnostic plug. That's the one where you wanna use a jumper cable to actually read the code. So remember, more than two, not your diagnostic plug. Two, that's the one you want. Next step you wanna do is take your jumper wire or paper clip, whatever you choose. And you wanna take that and bend it in such a way, just so you have two little prongs that you can poke inside the diagnostic plug. And it's pretty simple. You wanna take it and you'll see in the diagnostic plug, uh, there's these metal clips inside. You wanna put it in between the metal clips, not between the metal and the plastic, but between the metal and metal. And I'll get a closer view of this for you. As you see, the metal clip Paper clip is inserted in there. Next step is you want to go to your ignition. Let's take your key, put it in the ignition, turn it once, turn it twice to run. The check engine light is blinking, telling you what code you have. Now let's count it together. One solid, two solid, three solid, four solid, one, two, three blinking. So that's giving me a code of 43 and it's the same code that's repeating itself each time. So I know that I only have one code. If you have multiple codes, you have multiple different blinks occurring. If you have one code, you'll have the same code repeating itself with a slight pause in between each reset. It's very easy to read these. And down below in the description, I give a summary of all the codes based on the number of blinks. And again, I give a description on how to read the check engine light blinks. It's a reminder, an elongated blink like that, elongated, that stands for 10. And then short, quick blinks stand for one. Just add them together and there you get your code. It's very simple. This is a very easy and quick tutorial. If you have any questions, please, comment down below. If you like, please like, please share. Uh, just say anything. I'm trying to build a small community of folks who like clear and concise uh, tutorials. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube that are a little drawn out. So thanks again for watching. As always, remember, have fun when you're doing this. Uh, you're most likely saving yourself some money, which is always good. All right, I'm out. I'll see you guys.